everyone, let's go ahead and do a comparison between the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone XR and see basically how they compare in 2022. Now I'll definitely tell you the 11 Pro is pretty much the better phone in every single area, but it's still very interesting to see how both of these phones compare, and I love these phones, I, I love, and I love both these phones a lot, but there are some differences between them for sure. If you want to pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description, you can get that from there, you can help support the channel at the same time. Now side by side, there are a few differences as you can tell. The iPhone XR actually has a bigger panel, a 6.1 inch IPS panel, and I think overall definitely still looks pretty decent. It's not a bad or ugly looking panel, but compared to phones that we have nowadays, this thing definitely looks a little bit dated. The iPhone 11 Pro on the other hand has a 5.8 inch Super Retina OLED display or Super Retina XR OLED display, and this is a classic case of Apple doing a great job with their panel. Now if you look at both these side by side, you may think that they're both the same panel, but I'll definitely tell you in my experience experience, the 11 Pro's panel is far better than the iPhone XR's panel without a doubt. Now in terms of thinness and thickness, I will definitely also say that both these phones are kind of the same thing, there's really not that big of a difference between them. I would definitely say the iPhone 11 Pro, maybe it feels a little bit thicker, but I'm not really too sure. I love the metallic side on the iPhone 11 Pro versus the, like the aluminum side on the XR, but both these still look very, very good and I have very few complaints from them on that standpoint. On the back, we have a little bit of a different setup as well. The iPhone XR, the 2018 budget phone, has a standard glass back on it with a single camera setup. The iPhone 11 Pro has the frosted glass back with a triple camera setup. Now, I don't think most people will be looking at these phones and thinking, you know, oh, should I be up by this or this? I think most people have a XR and they be maybe wondering if they're going, and they may wonder if going to the 11 Pro is a good upgrade. And I'll definitely tell you, it is a massive upgrade for sure, especially in the body standpoint. I mean, you can look at both these phones side by side and definitely see that the 11 Pro looks significantly better than the XR. But some people may like a bigger phone, so the XR is there for you, but they both are kind of the same size. Like, it's very hard to explain. Now, in terms of the actual software updates in the future, this is where things are pretty much all in the favor for the 11 Pro. This device is significantly going to outlast a ton of different devices out there. This includes the iPhone XR, XS, XS Max, and a lot of other iPhones before it, including the iPhone X. They're both on iOS 16 right now, but this is definitely the phone you want to keep for a while, especially if you're trying to get a phone that's going to last you for a while. With the iPhone XR, this is a very good phone too, but I'm not too sure how long this phone's gonna last. On iOS 16, a lot of the features are limited on older phones, even including these two phones. The XR is kind of like the cutoff point. A lot of the phone's features are supported on these phones, which is great, but I'll definitely tell you when it comes down to both of these, the XR is probably not going to last as long as the iPhone 11 Pro, but that's okay, you know, this was a cheaper phone at that time. So in terms of that, that covers it up there too. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between them. The XR has the Apple A12 Bionic chip inside of it with 3GB of RAM. The iPhone 11 Pro has that Apple A13 Bionic chip inside of it with 4GB of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the fastest one between both of these. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background as you guys can see. So let's get into it. Let's do phone calls, 3, 2, 1. 11 Pro is here, 10 R is here. Music, 3, 2, 1. Okay, they both were on different panels. This one did kind of load that one up a bit faster, so we'll just kind of load out of this one. Health, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same thing. Settings, 321. Two different panels, too, so we'll load that one in the background. App Store, 321. You can see the iPhone 11 Pro was actually quite a bit faster there. Not quite a bit, but a little bit faster there for sure. Scrolling through here, let's see if there's any differences. And you can see right here, the 10R kind of was faster there, but I would definitely say the 11 Pro is probably the faster one there overall. Camera, 321. Okay. About the same thing, photos, 3, 2, 1. 11 Pro was definitely faster there. Hopping out of this one, let's go and do clock, 3, 2, 1. Okay, hopping out of this one, let's go and get into their news, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go and get into reminders, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's go and hop out of that one. Let's go and get into Apple TV, 3, 2, 1. I think the iPhone XR was the faster one there. As always, we have a bunch of these third-party applications we can go and test out. Let's go and get into it. Let's go ahead and do Snapchat 3, and I don't have it here. Let's do Fruit Ninja 3, 2, 1. Okay, two pop-ups on both. We'll just go and click it out at the same time. 3, 2, 1. And then we have this one here, which I don't even know what to do. So that one was a wash. Let's go and hop on at this one. Let's do Mail 3, 2, 1. 11 Pro again is the faster one. Instagram, 3, 2, 1. Okay, 11 Pro is the faster one. We'll try stocks, 3, 2, 1. 
11 Pro, I think, was the faster one there. Translate 3, 2, 1. Again, the 11 Pro is faster. And we can try Contacts 3, 2, 1. I think it's quite clear which one is the faster one. I messed that one up completely. But I do think the 11 Pro is definitely the faster one pretty much every single time. And it should be. You know, it's a newer phone. It came out a little bit, you know, newer than the iPhone XR. But I still think the XR did pretty decent. I mean, it's not like... A night and day difference. I think the 11 Pro did a great job, but I think the 10R is probably not too far behind, but it's definitely the sole one for sure. Now it's going to hit on the cameras. Now with the 11 Pro, you are getting that triple camera setup that I mentioned before. It's a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto lens, where the iPhone 10R, on the other hand, is getting that single wide-angle lens. 4K 60 on the back of both of these, but the iPhone 11 Pro has 4K 60 on the front as well, which is actually really, really cool. Now with the iPhone XR's camera, I thought this one was pretty good when it first came out, and it still holds up fairly well in this day and age. Like, it's definitely not the worst camera ever made, but I have said for many, many years now that I feel like Apple could have done a better job at this moment. There's no ultra-wide sensor, and there's no telephoto lens on this either, but you still maintain things like standard video mode. You still have portrait mode on this thing too, which is great. And I do think for a phone that came out not too long ago, I mean, this is still a pretty relevant camera. It's definitely not perfect, but if you want a phone that has a decent camera in this day and age, I don't think you can go completely wrong with this thing. Like, I still think it's pretty good. A lot of applications utilize this camera to its full potential, which is nice. But I definitely think Apple could have probably done a little bit of a better job in 2018. But the iPhone 11 Pro is a massive upgrade coming from the iPhone XR. This is a much better camera in every single dimension. The wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto lenses are beautiful, and I love seeing that on these phones. And with that 4K60 capability on the front and the back, it's actually really awesome. Now, like I mentioned before, this camera lens is optimal. This is the best type of camera lens you can have on really any type of phone. Now, of course, the 13 Pros and Galaxy S22s and everything are better, but this is still a really good camera. And most of you probably have already seen this camera out in the open. This is a phone that I would recommend buying if you want a phone with a decent camera for a decent price. This is a solid option, and this thing still looks remarkable in this day and age. So... When it comes down to it, I think the iPhone 11 Pro is still a very good camera, and I think overall this phone is still a pretty good phone. I mean, I think in this option, if you want to go ahead and buy a phone and move on with your life, this is a D, this is a really good upgrade coming from the iPhone XR. And this is what I'm going to tell you: if you have an iPhone XR, I think this phone still is decent. I think this thing still has a little bit of capability behind it, not a little bit, quite a bit of capability, but it wouldn't be like the first phone I'd recommend buying. The 11 Pro, I think, is a really good upgrade coming from this device. You're getting better processor, better cameras, better battery life. In my opinion, better screen, longevity, software updates, everything. This is definitely the better phone here. I think the XR is still a decent phone too as well, but if you're going from a XR and you want to get a new phone, the 11 Pro is a really solid option in my opinion. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.